Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about how to configure Prometheus and Grafana monitoring in Kubernetes using Helm. Let me explain one by one. What is Helm? Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes that simplifies the deployment and management of applications. It allows you to define, install, and upgrade applications and their dependencies as Helm charts, which are bundles of pre-configured Kubernetes resources. What is Node Exporter, Metric Server, and Push Gateway? Node Exporter. The Node Exporter runs on each node in your cluster and collects system-level metrics like CPU, memory, disk usage, and network activity. It exposes these metrics to Prometheus for scraping. Metric Server. The Metric Server is a lightweight Kubernetes component that collects metrics about resource usage from the Kubernetes API server. It provides these metrics, such as CPU and memory usage per pod, to other components like the Horizontal Pod Autoscaler, HPA. Push Gateway. The Push Gateway is a service that allows short-lived jobs to expose their metrics to Prometheus. Since these kinds of jobs may not exist long enough to be scraped by Prometheus. What is Prometheus and Grafana? Prometheus. Prometheus scrapes metrics from the node exporter, metric server, and any other targets configured in its scrape configuration. It stores these metrics in its time series database and allows querying using PromQL, Prometheus query language. Grafana. Grafana is a visualization tool that interacts with various data sources, including Prometheus. It allows users to create dashboards with graphs, charts, and other visualizations. Grafana queries data from Prometheus to generate visual representations of the collected metrics. Users can create custom dashboards to monitor and analyze their system's performance. And here's the Prometheus architecture. Let me explain it. We have the node exporter and metric server components. The node exporter collects node level metrics from Kubernetes applications, while the metric server gathers pod level metrics. Next, our Prometheus server retrieves metrics from both the node exporter and metric server using a pull mechanism and stores them in a time series database. Grafana then queries Prometheus using Prometheus query language to visualize the metrics. However, for short-lived jobs that terminate quickly, Prometheus may miss to pull their metrics, so we use Push Gateway to directly push these metrics to Prometheus. Prerequisites Kubernetes cluster with worker node in any cloud AWS, Azure, or GCP. Basic understanding of Kubernetes. What is covered in this video? Helm installation. Prometheus installation. Grafana installation. Grafana dashboard creation. Let's get into the hands-on part. I have already created an EKS cluster named my cluster, which is in the active state. The Kubernetes version of the cluster is 1.29. Additionally, I have provisioned a single worker node of type t2.medium. I have already connected to my cluster via a terminal. Let me open it. I have saved my commands in Notepad. Let me open it. To install Helm, copy the first line and paste it into the terminal. Then copy the next command and paste it there. Finally, copy the following command and paste it there as well. After that, we will have installed Helm and to verify the installation, we can use the command Helm version. Here you can see the version. Now go back to the notepad, Prometheus installation. To install Prometheus, follow the commands, copy the first line to add Prometheus chart to the Helm repo and paste it here. Now go back to the notepad and copy the next command to update Helm repo and paste it here. Again, go back, copy the next line to create file in the name of prometheus.yml and paste it here. Now go back and copy the below line and paste it inside the file. Here, I've disabled the persistent volume, 
changed the Prometheus service type to node port and disabled the alert manager because we don't need it for now. Save and quit the file. Now go back to the notepad. And here is the command to install Prometheus and additionally we are passing values from file to override the default values. And here is the content which we are passing. Now copy the command and paste it here. Now check the resources using kubectl get all. Don't worry about the commands. We'll share them in the description. And here you can see we have pod for cube state metric, node exporter, push gateway, and Prometheus server. And we have service for Kubernetes, which is default one. And then we have service for all of our resources. And then we have daemon set for node exporter which will be run on Airy node to export the log to Prometheus server. And then we have deployments and replica sets as well. Here, you can notice that some of the pods and deployments are not in the ready state. Let me check again using kubectl get all to see if they've stabilized. Yes, now all the pods and deployments are in ready state. And here is the Prometheus service, which is exposed to internet using node port, and the port number is 30607. So we can able to access this service using worker node IP followed by node port. Go to your worker node, just copy the worker node public IP and open new tab and paste it. And then go to the terminal, copy the node port and paste it here. It will not load because we are not allowed this port in our security group. So just go to the worker node under security, open security group in new tab. Under the inbound rule section, you'll notice that only the SSH port is allowed. Now I'm going to add another rule. Click on edit inbound rules, then add rule and select all TCP to allow all ports. Choose anywhere as the source and click Save Rules. See here our page is not loading. Now it will load because we have allowed this port. Yes, we got our Prometheus dashboard successfully. Now click the status and then select the targets. You can see the endpoints for the Kubernetes API server and Kubernetes nodes, along with their labels. Prometheus endpoint and push gateway, among other details as well. Now click graph, and then search as node and select node disk info. And then click execute. Here we can see the complete disk details of nodes. And click graph. Here you can see the disk usage in graph view. Now search as node underscore memory and select node memory active bytes. Click execute and you'll observe the memory details and usage of the node. Similarly, you can view all metrics here. However, for a better UI experience, we opt for Grafana dashboards. Let's configure the Grafana. Go to the notepad. We have user kubectl get all command and then in security group rule we added all TCP and below you can see the Grafana installation. Just copy the first line and paste it here. To add Grafana, chart to Helm repo. And then copy the next command to update Helm repo and paste it here. Now go back and copy next line to create a file in the name of grafana.yml. Go back and copy the below lines to enable node port for Grafana service and paste it here. Now save and quit the file. Go back to the notepad. Enter your full file name here. My file name is grafana.yml and G is not caps. I'm making it small. And then copy the command and paste it in terminal. Oh, we got an error because of wrong chart. 
Now go back to Notepad and see here we gave Grafana chart name with caps G, need to give a small. Now copy again and paste it in the terminal. Now use cube ctl get all to view resources. Here, you can see our Grafana pod, Grafana service, and Grafana deployment, replica sets, and all. And see here, Grafana pod and deployment is not in ready state, so let me check again. Yes, now it's in ready state. And here the Grafana service, and we can access it using worker node IP followed by this node port. Now go to the browser, copy the same IP, and then paste it in new tab. And go to terminal and copy the node port. And paste it here. Yes. Our Grafana dashboard is loading. We got the login page. And default username is admin. For password, go to terminal. Scroll up. Here the admin password. Just copy the command and paste it here to get the password from the secret. We got our admin password now. Just copy the password and paste it in login page. And click login. Now, we have logged in into our Grafana dashboard. Now click connections and then click data source. Here we need to add our source. From where, we are going to get data. For our case, it's Prometheus. Select Prometheus and scroll down. Here we need to give our source URL. Now go back to the Prometheus dashboard and copy the URL and paste it here. Now scroll down and click Save and Test. We have successfully added our data source and then click Dashboard. Click Create Dashboard and then click Add Visualization and then select Prometheus. By clicking Create Dashboard, we can customize and design our own dashboard. Alternatively, we can import existing dashboards using their respective IDs for quick setup. For that, click New and select Import. Here we need to enter dashboard ID, so go back to Notepad. Here I have an ID 6417, which will give details of pod, deployments, and replica sets and all. Just copy the ID and paste it here. And click Load. Scroll down and select our data source, Prometheus, so that our Grafana dashboard can able to get metrics from Prometheus server. Now click Import. Here is our dashboard. And here we can able to view our cluster pod usage, cluster CPU usage, cluster memory usage, disk usage, and then all the deployment details together. and the number of running pods, pending pods, failed pods, and all. And that's it. We have successfully configured our Prometheus and Grafana dashboard for viewing metrics. What you learned from this video. In this video, you've learned how to set up Prometheus and Grafana with Helm for monitoring Kubernetes. Now, you can easily track metrics and visualize data, helping you to manage your Kubernetes environment more efficiently. This knowledge enables you to spot potential issues early and keep your applications running smoothly. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is a Kubernetes consulting partner assisting organizations in adopting their containerization journey. We architect scalable and resilient Kubernetes clusters tailored to your specific requirements. Whether it's EKS on AWS, ECS on AWS, AKS on Azure, or GK on GCP, we ensure efficient deployment, seamless integration, and ongoing management to maximize the benefits of Kubernetes in the cloud. Thank you for watching.